We're wild on the go in the Sonoran Desert of Arizona. The Sonoran is a living desert and we're going to take a look at some of the plants that live here. This is a hedgehog cactus. It's called this because it somewhat resembles a hedgehog. It's also sometimes called the strawberry hedgehog cactus because its fruit tastes a little bit like strawberries. The fruit's often eaten by birds and rodents. It has pretty bright pink cup-shaped flowers that close at night and open in the morning. Here's a creosote bush. It gets its name from the similar odor that it has to the wood preservative creosote tar, which has been used on such things as telephone poles and railroad ties. They're usually under 10 feet tall. The leaves are resin coated to help prevent some water loss. And the large leaves are replaced by smaller leaves in drier times. It utilizes a lot of the surrounding groundwater, so there's not a whole lot of plants that will grow near it and it provides great cover for small animals to hide. Hey, this is a barrel cactus. It's also known as a compass cactus because it grows faster on its northern or shady side which makes the whole cactus curve and point slightly towards the south. Older ones of these can lean so far that they actually uproot and fall over in a heavy rain. Once they fall over though, they don't die quickly. One has been known to live up to six years after being uprooted. Deer and javelina eat the fruit. Birds love the seeds. The fruit is sour, but it can be used in candy or jelly or as an emergency food source. These cactus can live up to 130 years and have spines that are thick and hooked. This is the Acatillo, AKA coach whip. It is not a cactus despite its thorny appearance. It gets the leaves shortly after a rainfall and also flowers. These flowers appear mostly in spring and summer but sometimes in the fall. Flowers can be dried and used in herbal teas. They can get about 30 feet tall and these stems have been used as a spiny fence keeping animals in or out and when the stems are put in the ground they might even root and become a living fence. Okay, this is probably the most iconic cactus. This is a saguaro. It's found only in the Sonoran Desert. It grows very very slow. In the first year it may only get to be a half inch tall. By the time it's 15 years old, it'll be about a foot tall. They start out under a nurse tree to provide them shade, something like a Palo Verde. Um, they can grow up to 70 feet tall, weigh upwards of 4,500 pounds. When they get to about 50 to 75 years old, they may start growing arms. Not all of them do. Um, the pleats in the cactus will expand to allow them to hold more water. And the bloom of the saguaro cactus is the state flower of Arizona. And Arizona has very strict regulations on the collection or destruction of the saguaro cactus. This is a Foothills Palo Verde tree. Palo Verde is Spanish for green stick or green pole, green wood. There's two varieties found in this area. The Foothills Palo Verde, which gets up to about 20 feet tall, and the Blue Palo Verde, which gets up to about 40 feet tall. The Blue Palo Verde has more of a blue-green trunk, and it's also the Arizona State tree. The Palo Verde is also a common nurse plant for the saguaro cactus. It provides it shade in the summer and warmth in the winter. Okay, this is a prickly pear cactus. These grow all over the country, but they do best in the sunny desert-like conditions of the Sonoran. 
There are several varieties, but they all have these flat, fleshy, green-colored pads, which are actually the stems of the plant. They've been used medicinally to treat everything from burns to constipation. The pads and the fruit are both edible, but the fruit is best when it's made into candy or jelly or juice or wine. And if you watched our video on Tortilla Flat, the ice cream shop there actually sells prickly pear cactus ice cream. Here's a jojoba plant. These usually are about three to six feet tall, but they can get taller. Various wildlife eat the leaves and seeds or nuts from these bushes. And a liquid wax or jojoba oil is collected from the seeds and used for such things as lubricating oil, cooking oil, skin products, and even a biodiesel fuel. This is one of the many varieties of choya cactus. It's called a chain fruit choya. It gets new flowers on the chains every year, making the chains grow longer, and they can grow up to two feet long. The choya cactus is sometimes referred to as the jumping cactus because the spines detach very easily and can seem to jump on you if brushed ever so slightly. A good thing to carry along with you on a desert hike is a standard hair comb. It can be used to remove cactus needles from your clothing or body. We hope you enjoyed this brief look at some Sonoran desert plants. Please remember to share and subscribe. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Ow! Call 911, get an ambulance, something. Ah!